Are you ready? G'day everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. We got a big box this time. Alright. Well, let's get into it. Um, I ordered this from phantomtoys.com.au. Um, um, did take a while to arrive, but it got here. Um, I did have to chase them up a couple times in regards to trying to track down shipping information. Um, and I will give the heads up that they, when I ordered this, they didn't have any besides the pink version in stock. Um, those that haven't guessed already, this is the inverted scales. And time for the first look. If I can get that to start. Sweet as. So yeah, this is just the 1.0 version. And it's come completely assembled. Xwell Unicorn magazine. Um, these are good because it's got nice strong springs in them, especially compared to work talons. Um, which I just double spring my bananas and use them for my ABs like my storm. Um, this is my second AB. Well, hobby level AB. And just make sure there's nothing else in the box. Nope, oh, that's it. Alright, I'll get this out of the way. And there it is. So, no assembly required, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, No castle, no castle nut or anything to hold the buffer tube on. But that's got a screw down the inside of here that holds it on. If you're familiar with jaw blasters, um, you know how these buffer tubes attach quite easily. Um, add a long screwdriver out and everything ready for that. But there it is. Um, let's block. The barrel is, I'm trying to straighten that up, uh, 24 centimeter long barrel, and the mags, as well as the unicorn mags. This also uses an XT3, XT360 connector, um, and runs on a 3S LiPo. Um, no foregrip, no end strike barrel lug, but this is a 16 hour diameter barrel, so it can be used with just about any of the B cars, P cars, or SCARs on the market at the moment. Um, yes, yeah, so that Picatinny is not sitting very flush there. Um, and not exactly the straightest either. Uh, this is an extremely sturdy blaster, like really, really strong. Um, how this AAB works compared to the Storm using a shaft system, this has got a gearbox similar to gel blasters and airsoft blasters, and you can see the motor in through here. Um, some people have the experience like burning from the motor heating up. Um, Left-handed people might have that issue. I don't think right-handed people will. So, all in all, it's a rather strong blaster. I like it. Um, to change the barrels. Grub screw here, here, and looks to be two underneath. And pretty sure it's 
to deprime the blaster, you put it into burst mode, which is this middle mode. Um, and then you just try and feather the trigger to deprime it because um, it's a closed bolt system. Um, that should be single shot, coming to the front and right the way to the back. It should be full auto, fun switch. I'll put that back in the middle. Um, I am planning on rewiring this, so because there are some gel blaster batteries that actually fit down inside the buffer tube. Um, I don't have any with XD360 connector. I mean XD30, so I'm just going to have to use one for my one of my small ones. So I just made a little beat. Um, I'll just grab my chronograph and we'll get some numbers. Alright. Um, so yeah, this blaster was 380 bucks for, um, plus shipping brought it up to just over 400 bucks. Did take a while to arrive, but it has arrived. Um, as I said, Phantom Tech, they're just importing the blaster and don't actually have any in stock. So I did have to wait for it to be sent over, overseas before being able to get it sent from them over to myself. But it was three days once it cleared Aussie Customs. So that was pretty good. Uh, the reason why I got the 1.0 instead of the 2.0 version is purely because the money justification spending almost $800 on another AB blaster when I already have a storm, I've got my Sabre as well as my so 300 FPS blasters are already well in well in doubt alright so because it's closed bolt um, first shot is going to be to prime it, and that should be good. Hundred and eighty nine. Well, I don't think that's right. There we go. One nine six again. One seventy nine. So yeah, this is going to be my new twenty FPS AB. Um, switching into first mode, so we'll beat and oh, that chewed it out. Let's try and Try that again. So yeah, that's definitely definitely jamming up. That dot even got flipped the whole way around. And oh. so it should be decocked now. And now my chronograph doesn't want to turn on. And let's see if we can get some rounds. So I've just got 10 rounds now. And click over to full auto. Let's 
try and make see and see these numbers at the same time. The jam. So I'm getting a lot of folded darts. So not exactly off the great start. No. I think it might be this return spring that's catching them. But I'm going to switch back over to semi and bust a couple of shots and see I don't know I can see what the issue is so dance getting caught so I have to pull this barrel out let's push these all the way to the back Try again. No, it's already pushed them forward. Alright. I'm going to try and do that. Alright, so. Wasn't really able to adjust it too much. Um, very, very minute amount. Um, I'm gonna have to pull this whole section apart to swap out this barrel, I think, because of the crimping design. But click over to our fun switch again, and hopefully, we can get a rate of fire. So she's not jammed. Doesn't like that dart, maybe? Push these through to the dart. Folded dart. Fun switch. Just doesn't like some of these darts. Well, she's doing all right. So 
so what I'm going to do is take it to the outdoor range. The weather's pretty miserable. And hopefully we'll find like, some good darts. Alright, see you in a sec. Alright, so we're out here with the inverted scales. Got a target about the size of a hitbox. Center target is about just below chest level, but the average height. Um, gonna do. Oh, I'll do five five slow shots and just do the rest in full auto. So hopefully it should look pretty good, and hopefully we won't have any issues. But I'm gonna move back to 25 meters and hope for the best. That was savagely disappointing. Alright, so it's just starting to rain, so I've got to be quick. But I'm going to give this a second chance um, with some brand new fresh darts. Got five in the banana and ten in the unicorn mag. So I'll do five from each and single and then try and get a full auto off with brand new darts. And there you have it. That's the inverted scales version 1.0, LN01, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously, it doesn't hit anywhere near as as hard as its counterpart, the 2.0 version, which double the price. Um, this barrel issue is going to have to be something I'm going to try and work out how to resolve. Um, basically, it's just barrel sitting too far back so hopefully I'll be able to adjust that. Um, other than that, some of the shots were hitting a little to the left quite significantly. Um, 
and that that's with what was like actually going for the target. I had to aim completely off target for him to get him to hit the mat. And that's not counting the ones that went low and over the fence. I do have high hopes for this, but as it stands, this one definitely needs a lot of work still, and I'm definitely going to have fun going in for a maintenance and opening her up and playing around the barrels and all that. Try and fix all these issues. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Blast on.